Hi and welcome to Conan Exiles Age of Calamities. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make Onyx Core. If you are crafting medium and heavy armor, weapons, and tools in Age of Calamities, you will be needing at least one Trinixium steel bar or a Zargium metal bar. These two metal bars will require a Trinixium core and an Ilarican core, respectively. And in order to make these two cores, you will need a common material called the Onyx core. Of course, among other things. There is also a Skyan metal bar that requires an onyx core to craft. That being said, this will be a series of video guides because we will focus on one type of core in each video to avoid a lengthy and confusing walkthrough. So, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on all notifications so you won't miss our future uploads. Now, let's get into the onyx core crafting guide. Before we begin, take note that you need to be level 70 and in your feats, your art of the craft is unlocked to be able to craft Onyx Cores. First thing that you need to know is that the Onyx Core can be crafted in the Volcanic Forge in the Well of Skelos. So, you need to be strong enough to handle the mobs in the Volcano Biome and properly insulated from the heat to avoid heat stroke. You can also craft Onyx Core in the Forge of Kildora. This can be unlocked in your feats at level 80 and can be handcrafted if you are in the sub-faction of the Forsaken Vanguard under the Bangle Clan. But in order to craft this, you will need 3 Crinixium Steel Bar, 120 Chromium Reinforcement, 5 Onyx Cores, and 2 Crinixium Cores. So, there should be a point in the game that you really need to have to go to the Volcanic Forge to craft the Onyx Cores. However, if you have a lot of Owner Tokens, you can just go to the Faction Hall and buy the Onyx Core from the Honor Vendor. To know how to obtain honor tokens, I will leave the link in the description or you can click on the pop-up notification in this video. Before you go to the Volcanic Forge in the Well of Skelos and craft your onyx core, you need to bring these materials. 100 onyx, 5 rubies, 100 cobblestones, and 1 essence of binding. Onyx and cobblestones are basic materials already. Rubies can be crafted in the gem crafting bench if you have uncut rubies. Now, if you want an in-depth guide on how to get onyx, cobblestones, and uncut rubies, I will leave the links in the description below, or you can click on the pop-up notification in this video. The Essence of Binding can be crafted in the Plague Furnace. One Essence of Binding will require 300 Obsidians, 25 I-Cores, 30 Bitter Cranillas, and 10 Fire Blooms. That is without the Alchemist Thrall. With the Alchemist Thrall, it will only require 225 Obsidians, 18 I-Cores, 22 Bitter Cranillas, and 7 Fire Blooms. So, you should be able to save a lot if you have a Crafter Thrall in your Plague Furnace. All of these are basic materials already, so the only thing that you need to do is to know where to find them. Obsidian can be mined in the Volcano. You can get the best Icor yield from Salamanders. You can find a lot of them in the Drags. And you can also get a lot from Spiders. Just remember to use a pick and not a pickaxe in order to get the best yield for Icor. Mm -hmm. 
bitter granilla can be harvested from true indigo. You can find a lot of it in the jungle side of the map, and in these locations, you can find the thickest bunch of it. Now, you can also find a decent amount of true indigo in the oasis area near Supermeru. Fire Bloom can be harvested from Black Lotus, and it is only located in one place in the whole Exiled map, and that is in the Black Garden in N6, near the Palace of the Witch Queen. And also, don't forget to bring your Sandstorm Mask since the whole area is clouded with noxious gas. And bring your best sickle because this is the only place where you can find the black lotuses. And once we have all the materials, off we go to the volcano. And of course, we have to fight our way through the mobs to get to the Well of Skellos to use the Volcanic Forge. Now, maybe you can bring a Thrall or a pet with you if you're playing solo, especially, since you need to fight a group of Hyborian level 3 fighters and a miniboss before you can use the Volcanic Forge. And they pack. A lot of damage so be careful once clear put all the materials in and craft the onyx core as you can see it is a lot of work for just one onyx core and it's not even the final material yet in order to create the AOC armor weapons and tools so craft as many as you can in one go Now that you know how to craft the Onyx Core, in our upcoming videos, we will show you how to craft the Kernixium Core and the Ilarican Core. And so, that will be all for now, and I hope you guys find it helpful. If you do, please leave a like and smash that subscribe button for fresh tips and tricks for Conan Exiles Age of Calamities. You can also leave a comment below for requests of guides and walkthroughs that you want us to cover in our future videos, or any recommendations on how we can make our content better in our future videos. As always, thank you so much for watching. Bye for now, you guys. Thank you.